How's it going everybody? It's super windy out here today and I just stopped by the homestead to feed the chickens, collect eggs and make sure they're alive and we're going to head back home. It's a little cold and we're supposed to have a storm today and tomorrow so I figured it was a good time to make a video. So I figured I'd start at the beginning, show you guys what I have here. This is an earth bag station and what this is is um, basically I got a couple um, plant pots here, different ones that I had at home, and uh, I cut the bottoms off of two of them that uh, just happened to fit inside these earth bags here. And then I put the put it around here, and then I slide it over here. Then I take these clamps and just clamp down here and clamp on the other side, and then take one of these fill them up to the top with dirt and it just happens to fill the earth bags perfectly and this is the earth bag station so we can do two at a time on here I can usually bust out by myself I can do 20 an hour 21 an hour um, that's full done beginning to end uh, putting them in tying them everything so that's what this is this is this is how we started so actually this isn't how we started. We started doing it the hard way where I had this um, tomato cage and I bent it around to try to fit the bags, but bags kept getting snagged on it. It kept breaking and snap, you know, bending back and everything. So just decided to make something like this. So just took some wood and made the frame, uh, you know, just tall enough to where the earth bags can fit in, but not too tall so they're not hanging and uh it's real easy to put together but this uh, so anybody who's wanting to do this just to give you an idea this is by far the fastest way i've seen to do it um you can buy things online but they're like 80 90 bucks even more than that for these uh filling stations and honestly you don't really need to do that so uh this is this is it and then let's see we got barbed wire here spools of it these are actually for the fence that we're eventually going to be putting up but right now i use the barbed wire um what we do is in between each earth bag set of layers here we uh, lay down the barbed wire like this all the way around and that's what holds these bags together basically these barbs they grab onto the plasticky stuff and plus when we tamper it down it just creates a nice hold here and then you can see it just it's on the ends here it just goes back and forth back and forth snakes back and forth so it's really one continuous uh, strand of barbed wire that just goes around and keeps the bags intact so um, what you're looking at here is close to eventually it's going to be six feet tall but you're looking at you're going to be looking at over 700 earth bags that were filled up by myself and Teresa my wife and yes it was a lot of work uh, earth bags are very uh, labor intensive so that's the only real drawback that I've seen to them so far um, is just that they're just they just take a long time they're, they're a lot of work but um, they uh, they do fit together nicely they have a lot of resistance to earthquakes I guess just because of the flexibility of these walls these walls are like they kind of shake like when you move them but the, the earth bags stay in place so it's kind of it's a little weird at first when you, especially on the spots like a long wall like this which you're really with earth bags you're not supposed to do too long of walls without putting a buttress on on the side to keep it stable but i'm going to be putting timber posts all the way around the outside of this there's going to be posts in strategic locations and then between the posts we're going to be putting um a stone masonry wall up to about two feet and it's going to angle in so basically it'll taper into the wall and then the wall coating will be actually ferro cement and ferro cement is very similar to stucco the only difference really is that it's all cement and sand and uh, i don't think it has any lime in it although you probably could put lime in it but uh and it has more of a uh, mesh frame underneath basically use more metal to, to 
sculpt it. It's kind of like paper mache if you've ever used paper mache, but uh, you know how you take chicken wire and you make whatever shape you want. But instead, you use a little heavier wire and then you use rebar and you shape what you want and then you take three parts sand, one part cement, you mix them together and then you create this uh, shell out of cement so that's the that's what's going to be around the outside of the wall it's going to be like a ferro cement shell and then inside here I haven't decided 100 percent yet but we might go with like a cob just because you know to experiment with different things uh this building has a little of everything in it you know we did stone masonry doing cement slabs for the floor doing earth bags going to be doing ferro cement going to be using some timber use uh, my carpentry background you know for some for some carpentry um so doing a little of everything kind of gives me you know a chance to experiment here and see what we like don't like uh, it's nice in here right now because there's no wind it's actually uh it's really nice in here it's cool you feel safe but uh, you come down, um, you know, the wall here, that Kiva wall, it goes up, you know, it has a nice ledge around it all the way around. Um, we just thought it'd be a cool feature to have in here. Um, people asked us why and really didn't have much of an answer other than it just looked cool. So I thought it'd be a cool idea. And then turns out uh, someone had pointed out that they actually looked like a kiva so i looked up a kiva i didn't even know what a kiva was and we looked it up and i was like holy cow it is so you know just when you think you're original you're really not uh it's been done before so anyways this is what we call the kiva structure now and um you know just got a table set up in here as a workstation put my food and stuff out here like a little picnic when i'm working um so the door frame pretty straightforward uh actually this one is anchored into the the concrete here that i had to put um here the reason this is here is because i screwed up when making the door um basically i just whenever we started this we weren't really planning it out much we had no idea what kind of door we were going to put in here we didn't even know what this was going to be we just wanted to start so sometimes you know it was like well, I just want to get something going. I don't even care what it is. So we just started stacking bags and kind of making it up as we went. And um, so anyways, I had to pack the cement here to, to kind of, um, you know, make the door frame the size that we wanted. So that took a little bit of time. But anyways, the frame's anchored into the concrete. Um, so it's, it's solid. And this will eventually have an arch. Uh, it'll be an arch door frame and uh, that's that so here you go that's the tour and there's a lot more I could show you but right now the battery is about to go dead on the phone and I got to get back into town so hope everyone's doing well and I'll post another video soon